so um, just so that I'm clear um, and I'm not sort of making assumptions, um, your issues with Qua, I mean, excuse me, your issues with Mariah began after you watched first season and you saw some of the comments that she was making. Is that when it started? Yeah, it actually started then, and I was like, "Where are these comments coming from?" I mean, you're my ace, you're my sister, you're you. We talk to each other like seriously. Her and I would talk to each other like 25 times a day like we were inseparable we would never ever ever be apart from one another it just it just wouldn't happen that way and so when I um, reviewed some of the episodes of season one I was seeing like the little digs and the snide remarks that she was making in regards to me and I'm like wait a minute what the hell is going on here like friends don't do this especially best friends don't do this now I can expect expect this at the time from a Toya or whatever, because you know her and I was at odds. But for Mariah to take those type of digs towards me, I was like, where is that coming from? You know, Mariah would want everyone to think like, oh, it wasn't me that's making Quad feel um, a, a certain type of way uh, or that she was um, less than me. It's, it's actually everyone else. It was Toya who said, you know, the puppet. It was um, Simone who said the project. But I didn't really care ever about those people. What do they mean to me? We were not even close. You know what I mean? So what you say, what you got makes me nothing. It makes me nothing. It does nothing for me. But for someone who I completely adored, cared about, loved, um, I put so much of me into our friendship for me to actually hear how she viewed me was flooring. It was just way too much for me to take. And like I said, where we are today, I wouldn't have never thought that we would be here uh, two years ago, you know, even, even a year ago until I actually was seeing the episodes. And I'm like, she just went to Carrie and Toya and said, what are we going to do about Miss Squad? as if I was some form of an inconvenience to them or a problem to them. And, oh, you know, um, we just need to help her as if I was some type of irate, belligerent individual who was animalistic. Okay? I would have never, and still to this day, I have never, ever, ever spoke those words or said, uh, called her out of her name or said anything. I, I'm not. I'm just offering up clarity as to what happened between the two of us and the shots that she was taking last season was just cheap you know it's kind of like okay let me downplay quad to make sure I'm in a certain position you know and of course you know I did let me be honest let me be clear I came to this circle through Mariah so if Mariah thinks that I would never give her credit here's your credit you did you introduced me to Toya and, and Simone and all of those girls you really did um, but I think you did that, she did that, um, with a little shade, a little malice, planting negative seeds about me. So if they were a bit apprehensive to meeting me and getting to know me, there was a precon preconceived notion that was already set in regards to Miss Quad, okay? And that clearly showed within, in, within uh, season one you know I could take another uh, time when she basically said to her husband um, and I like her husband a great deal I do you know a very great good guy fun all of that um, but um, I could remember they were on I think their back terrace and she says you can take the girl out of the ghetto but you can not take the ghetto out of the girl and I called her immediately, and, and my name was, was, was preferenced, you know, uh, when they were talking. So they were clearly talking about me, clearly. And when I called her, I said, hey, you know, this is not cool. What, what is this about? Why are you saying I'm ghetto? You know, and this was actually after the fact she, when she had her fight. This was after the poolside brawl. So I'm like, are you trying to project? Are you trying to deflect? Like, I was there for you when no one was there for you with that whole fight. Last season, none of these girls, none of them would deal with her in any kind of capacity. But I remained faithful. I remained loyal. I remained true to her. And 
it, it was like a slap in my face to be where we are today. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't like where we are today. I don't like how she's handled things. I don't like how she's handled things in the media. I don't like how she's uh, taken a little bit of the truth and saturated it with lies and tried to turn it and, and twist it and manipulate it for her own benefit. It's just not cool. This that is going on between the two of us didn't have to be. It really didn't. Um, and, and so I, I, I noted those things to her, and she was like, oh, no, no, no. I was talking about both of us. He was talking about both of us. Well, girl, let me tell you, last time I checked, I had a degree in biology with a minor in chemistry. You did not say that in plural tense whatsoever. You said that in singular. You know, you can take the girl. You, he never said, well, you know, you can take y'all out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of y'all. You know what I mean? It wasn't that. And so that penetrated me in a way. It was very hurtful, extremely. And um, I just couldn't imagine a best friend doing this to another best friend. So it, it began to, to crumble a little bit then. And even last season, you know, before the reunion we were not we were not really talking we started talking you know like a week prior to the reunion I truly believe that that was a strategic uh, placement for her because she felt like she needed an alliance now I would say Mariah is very savvy I would never take anything away from her she is very savvy very cunning um, she knows how to do just enough to get a reaction from a person where she can sit back and say oh it's not me my hands are clean. It's them. And I think um, we see a lot of that uh, even this season and, and being played out in the media. So uh, it's, it's quite unfortunate. Um, but with a friend like that, who needs enemies? When was the, um, when did you decide to officially you wanted to end this friendship and you could no longer sort of go back and try to repair it? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of things that was going on behind the scenes that a lot of people didn't, they were not privy to. Like what? Um, <laughs> we had an argument one time in bar one and Mariah calls me a bitch. What, what did the argument start about? Um, you know, this was back, um, I think when Peter and Cynthia, they were um, thinking about doing like a, a reality re a, a award show. So you remember that. And, um, you know, I had said a comment in first season. I, I said, you know, it's amazing how the tables turn. Um, at this point, I don't think anybody could tell me anything. We all need, we all, we all need a class or two in etiquette. And when she heard that, she went through the roof. She called me, you think you're better than me? You're trying to disassociate yourself from me? I'm like, since the fight, I'm like, girl, you got into the fight in October. It's April. If I was gonna disassociate myself from you, I would have done that a long time ago. And um, it just was a very, it was tension in our, in our friendship at the time. And um, I could remember going into bar one and you know, I just went directly to the bar and kind of sat there, and they were there and everything. And you know, who's they? They like her sister. You know, she loves an entourage. It's funny that she say she says that I like an entourage, but I travel alone, and you you know that. You know, you might catch one person with me, but it's never a full fledged entourage. You know, I don't feel like I need a team of people to prove my point. I can stand alone any day by myself, and that's what it is. Um, she was with her cousin Brian Lamar at the time and then of course her sister and herself and then a couple of other people and then she came over to the bar and she's like hey Miss Squad and hit me on my back or whatever and I was like hey you know what's what's going on and she's like you acting funny you ain't speak to me well you know you can speak too you know it's just not a one-way thing and somewhere down the line um you know I said I didn't like the things that you put on Twitter because she put something on Twitter uh in regards to my comment that all of us could take a class or two in etiquette. She was like, I'm standing alone, I'm standing by myself, all I need is me and this and that. And I'm like, come on now, I've been down with you since day one. Just because I say we all can stand a class or two in etiquette, an uh, etiquette class, that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, setting myself aside from you or saying that you're beneath me or below me or I'm better than you. That's that's not what I was saying. I include, I said us. That means me too, okay? And um, 
there was a, a heated conversation before I knew it. She calls me a bitch. And uh, I'm like, what, this, what, this, this was, this was before the reunion, actually. This was before the reunion. So things were kind of mounting then. Um, I, 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 the, the whole ordeal is that Mariah thought that because she had a hand in, you know, getting the show together, pulling it together, a creative concept in which I, I give her complete credit for. I would never take anything away from her. Um, I think she thought that she was entitled to being the star of the show. And it doesn't work like that, you know. Um, I think she thought that that was her position, and everyone else should have, you know, should fall under it. And when the New York Times and 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 the people took to me and said, "No, Quad's the breakout star," I think that that really didn't sit well with her, and she became infuriated and very angry, uh, and a bit envious and quite jealous. Um, I know she might say, well, you know, I wanted Quad to walk aside me, not in front of me, not behind me, but aside me. But that's a load of BS, and I'm going to tell you why. Any kind of way someone says, um, I am the tree, the tree, honey, <laughs> and you are only a branch. Now, everyone knows what common sense and who really thinks about a tree for a minute. A branch is a smaller fragment of the tree. So if she really meant for us to walk alongside of each other, then I would have thought that she would have said, you know what, we are two tall, two, two tall trees standing alongside one another, and we can do a lot together. That's not what she said. So it was always a condescending kind of subordinate role, I think, that she had for me. And to see myself not, you know, not only supporting her, but saying, okay, hey, listen, I'm going to support me. I'm going to put myself out there. I have to start, you know, uh, expanding my brand and building my brand. Um, I think that that made her a bit threatened and, 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 and quite envious when the people said that I was the star of the show. I'm sorry. I don't think that anyone should either request or expect or even want someone to dim their light to keep them shining. It doesn't work like that. Listen, we can shine together, you know, um, but I feel that what type of woman would I be to take a back step, a back seat, if, 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 I, if, if I'm shining? Oh, well, you know what, I can't say this, I can't do this because Mariah might be upset at me if I say or do this. And that's the wrong idea of thinking. You know, and, and Mariah needs to really work on that. If you're not saying or doing or behaving the way she wants you to, to behave or say or do, then you're against her. And everybody's not always going to agree with what you're saying, but it doesn't mean that they're wanting a battle with you. It's just saying, hey, I'm my own person. You're your own person. I completely support you. Of course, it's me, so I'm going to support me, and I would like to have that same respect and support, and I don't think that I ever got that. Henceforth, this season, Mariah is saying uh, um, quad. It's one week she calls me a rat. The next week she calls me a roach. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> but I'm in a Hollywood Hills. I'm just saying. <laughs> damn. I'm just saying. I don't know. But one, one week I was a rat, and the next week I was a roach, and then she said, you know, I should have left her where I found her, insinuating she left me or found me in the slum or the gutter or the projects. Listen, I've never lived in the projects, no offense to anyone who has. I know your mother was hardworking, your family, you had to start somewhere, but it's not about how you start, it's about how you end, okay, how you finish. So with that being said, um, it was always just so negative and even now I've still not said anything negative about, about her never will I I'm only just offering clarity and truth and uh, I just think that she thought that I was in a subordinate role to her and I was never supposed to excel exceed or surpass her and if so then she should have had a hand in it you know I'm a grown woman a very intelligent one may I add and so uh, it's just unfortunate how territorial and possessive she was and is. Uh, it's, it's not about a side, and I said that in the Tranquility Room. For me, it's not about a side. It's about the truth. Listen, these women, I would never tell any of these women, no woman on this cast, I would never tell anyone, hey, don't be friends with Mariah. That's not how I get down. You do what you want to do, you know what I mean? But for me, right now, it's not working out, and I would ask that you respect what I'm requesting and stop asking me about her. Stop trying to put us in the same 
environment it's just not good right now mariah physically assaulted me at stk so this is where the jealousy and the envy has brewed up so much that she erupted like a volcano and assaulted me in a public place now guess what let's just say if i would have responded right and i would have hit her then that would have been an all-out fight